Hey there, welcome to Hexbug DIY. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how you can make your very own Planet Hexbug documentary from things you can find around your house. To do this, we've outlined a few steps. Pick an environment. The hunt. Choose your star. Backgrounds. Prop placement. And lighting. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is think about what kind of environment you wanna make. This will help you visualize what objects would fit into your scenery. This time, I'm gonna make a forest, but you can repeat any of these steps to create whatever environment you want. Next, the hunt is on. You can use anything. Forests have trees, so I'm gonna need some sticks. I promise I didn't place this here. Just make sure you clean up and put everything back when you're all done. The hardest decision you'll have to make, though, is choosing which bug you wanna be the star in your production. This time, I'll be using the Hexbug Fire Ant. Once you've got all your set props and your chosen bug, you'll need a background to change up the scenery. Backgrounds can be anything, from a printed picture, to a drawing, or even a window. Now, it's time to put everything together. Placement of your props within your background is the key to making an environment look realistic. Cover up the edges and seams of your background with grass, sticks, or rocks to blend the elements in the environment together. One of our favorite tips is to create depth in your scene by adding an object for your bugs to interact with. For this video, I'll be placing a log in the middle of the set and covering it with some grass to blend it in. After you've created your environment, you'll need to look for a place that has good lighting. This could be next to windows or even outside. Watch out for direct light though. If light is too harsh, it may make it harder for the camera to see everything. If you can't find good natural light or it's not available to you, you can always use a lamp. Any device that records video will work to film your documentary. If you have a camera, that's great, but a phone will work just as well. Now you're all set. Once you finish your documentary, share it on social media. And that's all there is to it. We'll meet you back here next time for another Hexbug DIY. And catch next week's new Planet Hexbug, where we use the set and bug scene here. See ya.